like the flip cap on this is so nice. You don't have to like unscrew it and re-screw it all the time. It's just, it's just better, okay? Oh, we played against this Natalie Page earlier. I forget what they're playing. We play against a Tempo, eh, probably Tempo Rogue. I'll keep these, against, if it's Tempo Mage, rather. I don't think she was playing Rogue when you, or uh, rather, Mage when you played earlier. Oh no, I think it was Control. I think she was actually, that was the, the, the anti-magic shell game. Oh, I definitely shouldn't have kept this this way then. What a fool this, this is. Foolish me. What a fool this is. What a fool I am. Yeah, that was that game. That game was actually super interesting, too. Alright, well... Shiro, what do you think? Alright, we'll play a fox. How, how much does Blink Fox look like Shiro, by the way? Look at that. Wow! It's basically the Shiro. That's why I love this deck so much. Ow! That and the fact that it's super fun, but... Shiro is more majestic, that's true. I say doom. You say what? Um, hmm. Well... We can just guarantee clear it with Spectral Backstab. got a Meteor and a Polymorph. I think Shiro heard Natalie get it home. It's after her. Is one charge plus backstab worth a 3-3 three, three on the board? Well, the charges aren't worth that much in this matchup until you have, like, Deadly and you're, like, trying to, like, you know, survive and, and give them beatdowns late game. It's not hugely important. Okay, so opponent's a Meteor. Um, let's go ahead and Flame Elemental Elven Minstrel. I'm going to trade this. My opponent could just Meteor and kill my guys anyway if I use my, my weapon to try and preserve them. I want to I want to get the, the true Pogchamp game where you, I Valera and double, uh, double Elise. Oh, there goes Deadly and Hallucination. That's sad. Alright, um, I'm going to prep the Cinderstorm, I think. That'll let me, like... Play the rest of my mana. Yeah, prep, Cinderstorm. Wow, just smorked him. Amazing. That was not what I was interested in. Come on, get it back to my hand. Let's get six spiders in her deck. So yeah, we just want the six spiders in her deck to make this more awkward for our opponent. I mean, I guess, I guess Vanish is like a pretty bad failsafe now that I think about it against like a lot of the late game stuff, but it's good failsafe against like late water elemental boards. Meteor? No, Polymorph. Okay. Polymorph Acolyte. Interesting. Yeah. There's a spooter. Justice is mine. I guess I actually should play this on this side, in case I did hit a spider. Because of Meteor. We got a donation from False, who said the major played against twice now is actually a new streamer. Oh cool. Oh, when I cut Lich King was half the options really bad. Well, this is a different version. This is like a very substantially different deck than the one that I played Lich King in. A huge motivation for, for cutting the Lich King is that you often don't really have great hits with it. Need a key. Ready for action. Are you ready for action, though? How ready are you? Coin? Mana Bind. You have yourself a coin. I think I want to keep this Cutlass around. You cannot escape the shadow death. 
Alright. You can't escape the shadow of death. It's just not possible. What to do indeed. Dragon's Fury. Okay. That's interesting. My opponent's hand must be, like, really full of... Of, like, AoE. If she's doing that right here. Oh, Strider. Strider. My deck is... 11 spooters now? Having a non-gold Valyra makes so many things mismatched. It's really hideous. My deck is going to have 9 spooters and 2 packs soon. It's going to be glorious. Oh, no, it's, it's 11 spooters, right? Yeah, because it was 8, and then we just, we just put in 6 more. Wait, is it even 11? No, we hit 5, because we hit 1. Yeah, okay, we have 11. Okay, Cindergosa. Coin ping. With no, um, with no Janie yet, that's not even that scary. I'm just gonna Elise Elise. So, our deck is just full of additional cards that we've generated. And we'll kill the Cindergosa. I could've even just, like, vanished. That actually would've been kind of sweet. Vanish, get more Faldori Striders. Just keep playing more Faldori Striders, get even more Spooters in my deck. If I vanish these, we can get even more packs in my deck. I'm actually kind of tempted to do that. Get like six packs in my deck. <laughs> that is truly a pay to win game. Just like Valera, Elise, 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 Elise. Dragon's Fury. Oh, I don't know how the option. <gasps> Ooh, a Fireball. That's an interesting inclusion in the deck. And also just means that these are not both going to die. Do I want to just vanish it? I kind of do. Oh, a spooter. Oh, I don't want to vanish the spooter, though. Ah, two spooters! Yeah, I don't want to vanish this board anymore, unfortunately. I've played Cinder Storm. I've played AI. That's all I can think about. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll fan. Let's get more spooters. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. So there's seven spooters left in my deck. She's already played two Furies, so there's like a flame strike or two flame strikes that can clear this reasonably. There's one of them. Ooze. All right. Well, I'm glad I have the Cutlass left over. <laughs> so I have eight cards. We have so many packs. If I pack, I'm only getting three cards. So I want to play something else before I pack, I think. Because there's Cutlass and double SI this. Let's just do that. That gets a real card out of my hand, too. Cutlass. This guy's toast. SI. SI. This guy's toast. You could potentially like draw like a backstab or prep or something next turn too. Because we just keep drawing spooters. Half of our deck is spiders right now. We have seven spiders and 14 cards. It's like arachnophobia dot game. And then who even knows what we're gonna get off the packs. And then we have Tess for more. Tess also casts AI, which is sick with uh, spiders in my deck. Yeah, what I really wanna pack into is another Elise. I'm gonna fatigue myself? Well, not, with, not if I just keep getting Elises off of packs and putting more packs in my deck. Whoa, Splinter Graft. All right. Well, we can sap that. It's a good sap target. We can also just backstab it and then sap to make even more room in our hand. Yeah, I want I want more room for, for my, my pack cards. Because I don't have to backstab my own stuff. Tarantus. None of these are very good. And I can't even duplicate any of them. Packing again doesn't really, like, gets me two cards. And then I, like, potentially can't play anything. Eh, two cards could be better than these. And we can always play a Molten Reflection. Alright. This does leave us in a position, yeah, where we actually get our thing and could mill a spider. Which is unfortunate. 
Yeah, I probably should have just done this the other way and just played the cool Dynomancer. We can set up for a really sick Tess, like Tarantus into Free From Amber. Like, Tarantus basically demands Blizzard or a, uh, a Voodoo Doll. Okay, Artificer. Meteor, yep. So we're gonna set up for a gross test. Ooh, Mookla, ooh. Okay. We're gonna lose that to the, uh... Uh, to the overdraw from the thing anyway. The, uh, Shadow Reflection. Yep. Voodoo Doll. This is an elemental. This works well with Thunder Lizard. I think I'm just going to free from Amber this turn and then plant a test. We can even free from Amber and we have double banana because we have uh, the shadow reflection we'll be getting. And then we'll have a free from Amber and a Tarantus off of uh, off of Tess. Ooh, prep would have been great, but oh well. All right, we'll free from Amber. Ysera. <sighs> That'll get me a dream card though. And we'll have eight, nine, and we'll burn a card again. I'd rather just get the, the Mastodon, because I, I still have seven spiders left. Okay, Ysera's fine, yeah. Because we can get like a dream card and then like double dream or something. Nightmare? Ooh. So yeah, this way we still get our card draw because we played the bananas. I mean, I assume this is going to get killed. So I doubt we're just gonna be able to like attack, you know, double nightmare, kill you or whatever. Polymorph, yep. Bear your soul to me. Sure. Alright, it's time. It's test time. Spooter. Spooter. Is it test time now? Do you even want to test now that we double spoodered? We could just tar tar. Eh, whatever. Tess is the sweetest thing. Alright, oh, there's a cinder storm. I totally forgot that there was a cinder storm too. I guess I should have attacked this first. Oh, we molten first. We didn't get like molten on Tarantus or anything. Ooh, two Tesses. So my deck is actually four spiders, which I could burn because I'm getting the thing. So the only way like that your, our opponent really deals with this, I think, is just uh, running blizzards. We also might be able to like vanish the Tesses and do it again. Oh yeah, I can't Molten Tarantus. Well, if it's cast on a random target, I guess you still can't, right? Yeah. So yeah, our opponent has to blizzard, basically. Yep. Eh, well, I'm just gonna play a Tar Lurker. Do I play a Tar Lurker and Nightmare it? So I actually draw a card? I guess I'm gonna draw a card anyway, right, because I burned that. I guess there's no real reason to Nightmare it. Having Nightmare in my hand gives me the ability to, like, kill through, you know, if just any minion lives. Because we're not overdrawing here. We go we go back down to eight, then we get, get nine, and then up again. So we'll say go. I guess my opponent could theoretically flame strike. Can't really flame strike and, and, and deal with. Eh, I guess flame strike attack means there's just this against this. So my opponent's not necessarily gonna, gonna die. But that's actually all my opponent's AoE, right? And there's still four spiders left. My only card other than spiders is sprint, which is pretty hilarious. Blizzard, yep. So yeah, I'm actually just gonna draw spider, spider, spider. Oh, and my last card is sprint. If I vanish now, what actually it was the first thing in play? Was it my Tess? I think it was, right? I can vanish, and we'll get Tess in our hand. Is that right? Or does that actually hit this? I don't know, I'm gonna do it. We'll see what happens. 
It is Tess, okay. That's what I thought it was. But we're gonna cast AI, which is a problem. Like, my opponent has a Fell Soul Inquisitor in hand, though. I don't die to AI. I take one, then two, then three, then four from the AI. What was that vanish? It was setting me up so that I would I would be able to test a full board against a, a flame strike, which is my own, my opponent's only remaining removal. Why not Wind Fury? Because I don't want him to just if he plays like the the Fell Soul, I just want to be able to you know immediately kill it. I guess actually with the, with the Nightmare, I should have taken Wind Fury. That's actually a good point. I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I had Nightmare. I definitely should have taken Nightmare given that or Wind Fury rather. Yeah, that was actually very foolish. Wow. Okay. I wish she just would have been lethal here. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Ow. Ow. Oh. Okay. I mean, there's a flame strike left, but flame strike doesn't kill these. The whole reason I vanished, right, is because flame strike was gonna kill everything except my Tarantus, and my Tarantus, you know, if my opponent had like flame strike into you know, Stonehill card, my opponent. No, I guess my opponent doesn't have a Stonehill card still. Regardless, it was sweet. <laughs> there's an artificer left in my opponent's deck, but no blizzards, so there's no way to just stop this board. Yep. Still got the Tarantus, still got these. Ah, oh, we didn't we didn't get another Elise. That was a pretty sweet game, I have to say. We played two games against Natalie Page today, and they were both uh, pretty cool. <laughs>